good news. I know that I did say at the start of the show that you have just three days left to get your PVC, but that may have just changed. The Independent National Electoral Commission has extended the ongoing voters' registration exercise by two weeks. This came as the Commission said it had registered 23 new political parties, bringing the number of registered political parties to 91. The Commission had sent letters of invitation to the affected chairmen of the new parties to, um, to pick their certificates of registration from the Commission tomorrow. The development pre presents huge logistical challenges for the electoral umpire, with the ballot paper set to be expanded to accommodate more parties. Among the new political parties registered by INEC yesterday were the African Action Congress, the Alliance for a United Nigeria, the Alliance National Party, the Allied People's Movement, among Others. So, Chukudi, we've gone from 68 registered political parties to 91 registered political parties, and now Nigerians have two extra weeks to go out there and get their PVCs. This is not the time to call your friend and say, I told you, didn't I tell you that we are standing? That, you know, Nigerians, we are quick to rub it in. I know people are going to come from me because all I've been doing is PVC advocation for uh, the past two weeks. Uh, I, I said it now. They are going to extend it. Even, some people will tell you, let's bet. Even that 31 self, they will even still extend it. Now, this is not the time to say, I told you they would extend it. I mean, it's okay, you won. Okay, we admit. Do you think they could have also extended, though, because of everything that's going on with the 2019 budget and the National Assembly, or is that completely and wholly separate from this? Well, I think it's entirely different mm. because the 2019 budget is essentially a legislative affair. Okay. It has nothing to do with the Nigerian people. I mean, it's in our interest, mm. but registration, people have complained. I mean, we have seen renewed consciousness mm. looking at the political terrain of Nigeria, and people have complained. I mean, on Community You report yesterday, the phone lines were blazing because people were complaining, you yeah. know, I only have my temporary voter's card, I've misplaced my permanent voter's mm. card, how do I go about it? People are asking questions. Look at this one, though. Someone said on Instagram, I worry for my Nigeria. Everyone seems to be preaching the PVC message, but of what use is it if I have to pay to buy my rights? I woke up early this morning and headed for the registration centre near my area in Ejigbo. As early as 6 a.m., we had over 80 people on the list waiting to be attended to by INEC officials by 9 a.m. However, at 8.30 a.m., we noticed a plot twist. Names of those to be attended, etc. So people are saying that what is necessarily the point of even getting their PVCs if they have to pay for it? And on radio the other day, we spoke to a woman who stayed anonymous as well, and she had a very similar account. Now, a lot of people are taking advantage of the situation. Mm. You see, in Nigeria, we have the I cannot kill myself mentality. That mediocre attitude, yeah. Or... Na market with a sell attitude. Mm -hmm. People just look at the situation and say, ah, the uh, Chebidis politicians is their self that they are they are working for. Me, if I'm going to make money from this thing, let me make money from it. Too. Somebody called Community U Report to say that he misplaced his permanent voter's card, went to the police station. The police officers did not even have any idea of what to how to go about, you know, uh, a police report. They were like, ah, do you really need a police report? Uh, we what? don't know. Yes, we don't know. We don't know. So he had to go to a magistrate court. Now, when he got to the magistrate court, he got an affidavit, went back to the center, and they told him that uh, this one is not the one that we used to use. Mm -hmm. And they gave him some of this phone number, and he called the person. The person demanded for 3,000 naira. Mm -hmm. Now, this is setting the record straight. Do not pay anybody a fadin. I don't want to say a single cover. A fadin for your registration or for anything. Now, anybody that asks you to bring money, do not fight with the person. Just take note of the center and report to the nearest INEC local government office. Hopefully, since there has, there has been a two weeks extension, we are going to try to bring to you all of the offices in the local government areas in Lagos State. And maybe over the next two weeks, all of the centers where you can go and register. Remember, your vote is your voice. Whether you like it or not, the Constitution guarantees your right to franchise. And you must exercise that by voting your conscience and getting the right people that are going to take Nigeria from the abyss of underdevelopment and the doldrums of poverty to the great heights. Absolutely. This country is blessed with abundant human and natural resources. We should not be suffering at all. The only people that have benefited from Nigeria are people who have only perpetuated themselves in government. Now, the Nigerian people must rise today, 
support a government that is committed to enthroning true change in the country and ensure that bad people who are not even fit to be class captains in a very good school do not get into government. Honestly, I couldn't have said it better myself. And at the end of the day, your PVC is your voice. Like Banky W said when he came on the show, it's better to register for your voice, even if you don't know what you want to say yet, than to not have your voice at all. This is a democratic country, and the highest office on the land is the office of the citizen and not that of the president. You are essentially the employer, and whoever goes into public office is the employee. So do not sway away from it. Like I said to someone, someone said, what difference is it going to make? And I said, look, the only way we can change the system is if we infiltrate the very same system that is set up to frustrate us. Not if we let that system continue and we just sit down and go and do other things because that system will continue to do what it is doing. But the more of us who infiltrate that system, the easier the system gets for us. So we must begin to participate in the process. This is not the time to just hinge on prayer points. I never will not count prayer points on election day. Hold on! <laughs> oh, I just bad word. Hold on, bad word. Hold on, bad No, need to me. I'm see No, I is not going to count prayer points. If we say politics is a dirty game, and so all the children of God and uh, the children of the Almighty Allah decide to sit in their houses on election day, fuel their generator. Can you imagine? You fuel your generator. You fuel your generator on election, election day, election and, you are, day. <laughs> and you are watching season film, and they say, ah, me, I don't used to vote, so I will just fuel my generator. You better go and vote you so are you are no your need generator, a generator on election day. <laughs> you should go out and participate in the process so that oh. we will no longer be buying fuel for generator. Absolutely. I envision a Nigeria where when we tell our children or tell posterity or they read it, they read about it in, in documents that there was a time where the official time for putting on the generator in Nigeria was 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. They'll say, unbelievable. <laughs> but this is not El Dorado. It's not a dream. We must begin to participate in that process. My lecturers told me that when they were in school, they used to do their laundry. That is, they used to wash their clothes for them. There were only two in a room. And they even said that they would eat full chicken and use ice cream in Nigeria. And what do we have today? Our institutions have been abandoned and have been destroyed. Nigeria is a country where our teachers are not paid their salaries. Many of them are not selling Zobo in the school to mm. the children. Why? So we must rise up and do all that we can to see that we make Nigeria great again. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, a video went viral, just to round up, a video went viral of a man over in America basically saying, Nigeria, what's over there? All they do is steal and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, look, Okay, we may have a system right now that is literally just overtaken by corruption and several other poor factors of development. However, I still believe in Nigeria. Do you believe in Nigeria? I believe in Nigeria. Exactly. And the question that we are leaving you with is, what is the Nigerian national interest? I feel like that's some food for thought that we all need to think about. What is our national interest? I promise you I'll be looking for answers on tomorrow's show. But Chukudi, thank you so much for this extensive much. insights on exactly what's trending in the news. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.